most people have cornstarch in their pantries for cooking. I don't think Steve Spangler cooks anything. He just throws it into experiments. Grab a box of it and get ready to make a mess in today's Science Minute. Cornstarch and water. I know what you're thinking, gravy. No, no, no. Kitchen quicksand. If you've never made it before, it's amazing. It's a non-Newtonian fluid we call ubalic. Watch. Uh, starts with some cornstarch. Now, how much is completely dependent upon you, but start with a small little about, amount like this. And then here's what I do is add just a little bit of water and get your hands down inside. You can't mix it with a spoon. You really got to get in there. Now, what's crazy about this stuff is it behaves as both a solid and a liquid at the same time. And there's going to be a certain point where you'll feel it. As you're mixing it in, you're going to feel like it feels like it's solidifying in your hands. And yet when you just move it around like this, it's a liquid solid and liquid called non-Newtonian, right? It's only with pressure or stress that it becomes a solid, so it doesn't behave Newton's laws, so to speak. Well, you know, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. That's why I made this giant batch over here. Look at this, about a box and a half, two boxes of cornstarch. That's what's amazing about this. When you punch it like this here, watch this, it's a solid and then it turns into a liquid, almost like quicksand. So when you put your hands in like this and you pull up quickly, it turns into this solid. Watch this, a steel ball bearing dropped into a liquid in a glass bowl. Watch this, three, two, one. Everything was just fine because that moment in time became a solid, slowed its process, uh, progress down all the way. So there it is. But you know that we've got to play with it like this. When your hands are in it, it's so much fun to play with. But sometimes people are like, well, it's just too messy. And while you can slap it and play with it like this, you might want to make a stress ball. So here's how you do it. You take a balloon and you put a balloon on the end of a funnel. Then scoop up some of the liquid and put it inside the balloon. It gives you this here. This is our balloon with the material inside. So you can squeeze it and play with it. And yet it's not going to be messy like it was before. So it's a great way to be able to make kind of a stress ball. And it's not as messy. But I know what you want you want that messiness right you want this that's both a solid and a liquid at the same time you're gonna do the slap test you know not to try this at a home you try it at a friend's home because what if it doesn't work three two one BAM and you know not to pour this down the drain because it'll become a solid in your drain put it in the trash I'm Steve Spangler and that's your science minute BAM how many kids are doing this one without permission from mom and dad, Alex? Oh my gosh, I know. And those are like actual ingredients you can just grab out of the pantry <laughs> so we can do them. You know, that's awesome. I like the one in the balloon better, but that's just me. Oh, Spangler, <laughs> such a troublemaker. All right, we'll be right back.